Hello everyone, my name is Bethany and in this video I'm going to show you how to crochet the sole for a slipper. Um, I'm going to be making the size 8, American women shoe size 8, and I'm working with a 4.5 millimeter hook and medium weight yarn. Since this is a sized item, you want to make sure that you have the correct gauge. The gauge for this pattern is 2 inches is 8 stitches. So to achieve your gauge, just start with a chain of about 10, so you can crochet back and forth twice, take out your measuring tape and measure how many stitches are in two inches and it should be eight stitches, two, four, four single crochet stitches per inch. So if you get about that size you need to go either up or down um, depending on whether your your gauge is smaller or bigger but be, be sure to get near you know as close as you can to that gauge in order for these slippers to be right. Their finished length is going to be nine and a half inches. Now this is specific sole for some of my slippers which is they fit better if the sole is um, a little bit smaller, like the slippers will be snug um, and fit nicely. So if you are working something different, be sure to go up an extra hook size to make sure that they're they get that extra quarter inch length to fit your to be the exact size of your foot. So we're gonna begin to make these. You're gonna begin with a foundation chain of 26 stitches. So you're gonna chain 26. There is our 26 chain. So to begin, you're going to single crochet three in that second chain from the hook. Work three in that one chain. Then you're going to single crochet 16. So there is 16. So we're going to half double crochet three times. And then you're going to double crochet four times. That should leave you with one chain unworked at the end. Okay, so in the last chain, we're going to double crochet seven in that one. It's going to bring you around to the other side of the chain. So put seven double crochets in that last chain. There's seven. Okay, so you can see that you have your towel right now, right here. Um, if you want to, you can work around it, like I just lay it right there, and you can kind of work a couple stitches and it kind of weaves it in as you go. Then you can just clip it when you're done. Okay, so we've had the seven double crochet, and then we're going to work four doubles, and we're going to be working down the other side of the chain now. And then you're going to half double crochet three. And then you're going to single crochet 16. Okay, so that is 16. And that completes the round one. So we're going to move on to round two. You're going to work two single crochets in the, the, that first three that you worked in the first chain. So don't, don't let that little thing right there confuse you. You want to find the two loops from the single crochet and that's where you begin. So work two in each. Okay, and then you're going to work 24 single crochet down the side of the sole. Okay, 
Okay, so we work 24 down the side. And now we're going to work two in the five, in five, the next five double crochets across the toe. So two in the next five. There's five, and then you're gonna work. You're gonna work 24 single crochet stitches down the other side. Okay, so we work 24 down the other side, and now that completes the round two. So we're, we're moving on to round three. So to this is the heel, and this is the toe. So to work around the heel, we're going to work a single right there, and then two in the next stitch, and then a single, and then two in the next stitch, a single and then two in the next stitch. So a sequence of one, two, one, two, three times around the heel. Then work 24 single crochet stitches down the side. So there's our 24. Then we're going to work the one increase, one increase sequence around the toe, but we're going to repeat it five times. So single crochet in the next stitch, work an increase in the next stitch, which is two in the same stitch. So that's one, and then two, and then work that three more times. One in this stitch, two in this stitch, one in this stitch, two in this stitch. Okay, and then we're going to work 24 single crochet stitches down the side. Okay, that's the 24 down the side and that completes round 3. So moving on to round 4, you're going to work another single in between the increases. So each time you work another one. So last time we worked one, so we're going to work two. So single crochet two, and then work your increase two stitches in the next stitch. And then repeat that two more times. One, two, two in the next stitch. One, two, two in the next stitch. And then work sing 24 single crochets down the side. Okay, that's 24, so we're going to work, work the same thing we did around the heel. You're going to work one, two, two single crochets in the next stitch and then one, two, two single crochet in the next stitch. So we'll work that three more times for a total of five times around the toe. Okay, now work 24 single crochet stitches down the other side. So that completes round four. All right, we have only one round left. And this round is gonna be worked in half double crochet stitches. So we work two stitches in between the increases last round, we're gonna work three this time. So you're gonna half double crochet one, 
two, three, and then work a half double increase in the next one, work two stitches in the same stitch. And we're going to repeat it. One, two, three, and then two half doubles in the next stitch. And then repeat it one more time. One, two, three half double crochet stitches, and then two half doubles in the next stitch. Okay, and then work 24 half double crochet stitches down the side. So that's my 24. Then we're going to work the same increase uh, sequence around the toe. You're going to work one, two, three half double crochet stitches, followed by an increase in the next stitch. Two half double crochet stitches worked in the same stitch. Then you're going to repeat that four more times around the toe for a total of five. Okay, so now we've completed the five increase sequence around the toe, and now we're going to finish by working 24 half double crochets down the side. Okay, so that completes your sole. If you met the gauge correctly, this should be about nine and a half inches long, which should be about a quarter inch shorter than your foot, which works for some of the slippers that I do. Again, if you wanted to make it to perfectly fit your foot for a different style of, of slipper, you wanna go up maybe one hook size to make that just a tad bit bigger. All right, thank you so much for watching.